I am dating someone exclusively. <laughs> Guys, I truly cannot believe that I'm saying this, but Christine Brown is engaged to David Woolley, and I'm sure that we're all extremely happy for her because finally, after all these years, she gets to experience a real relationship and marriage, but there's a lot more to the story that we just need to unpack. I mean, for one, can you even imagine how Cody reacted? And you're really not going to believe everything else surrounding this marriage. So don't get me wrong, I'm super happy for Christine just like everyone else, but am I the only one who's a little bit stressed out by this whole thing? Because today as I film this, it's April 13th, 2023, and on January 29th, 2023, she was posting on her Instagram about how she had just started online dating, and just a few days later, she talked about how she already had a boyfriend, and it's only been 64 days since she even got into this relationship, and so yeah, it just seems really fast, and I know I've seen everyone talking about how it just feels fast because we only just saw the divorce play out on TV a few months ago, but in reality, it did happen in 2021, but that's not what I even mean at all because I literally just mean that 64 days is a very short amount of time to go from single to engaged to someone, and then again, it is a stereotype that couples in Utah get engaged faster than in any other parts of the world, so maybe it's just that, but I mean, you have to wonder what is the rest of the family thinking? Because I can't even imagine what Cody and Robin are doing right now. I'm sure that they're both just completely besides themselves, and that's just pretty hilarious in and of itself. And honestly, it adds a pretty amazing layer to this whole thing, but I also can't help but wonder what Janelle's thinking right now because she's definitely the more logical of the two former sister wives and we know that there were rumors that she didn't approve of how fast Christine and David's relationship had already been moving and that it had even caused some distance between them. So you have to imagine that this is only going to make it worse now that they're engaged. And we also know that none of the kids have been super close with David yet, and Peyton did an entire TikTok live talking about how he's never going to be close with David, and McKelty has spoken out about it too, and Peyton has even said that Truly is not a big fan of him, which honestly makes me really sad for her if that is truly the case, because do you guys remember how Christine did an interview with People Magazine a few months ago, and back then, she said that Truly didn't want her to date just yet, and because she wanted some more time to get used used to it being just the two of them, and she didn't want anyone else around for the moment, and so if she was feeling like that a few months ago, and now her mom is getting married to a guy that she allegedly doesn't like very much, I hope she's dealing with it okay. And now, so don't get me wrong, I mean, there are so many reasons to be happy for Christina in this situation. Finally, after years of being in a loveless spiritual marriage, she's in a happy, real relationship from what we can see, and this is her literal first legal wedding ever, because she was never never legally, you know, married to Cody, and not even to mention that her first quote-unquote wedding was extremely bizarre, and I don't know how much you guys know about Cody and Christine's wedding, but it was really strange. I mean, first of all, her mom wasn't even allowed to be there because she had just left their religion at the time, and everyone was worried that her mom was going to show up and call the cops or something along those lines, and then you have the fact that Christine absolutely hated her dress, and her mom made it for her, and yes, even even though she wasn't allowed to be there, she did make her dress, and both Cody and Christine thought it was a terrible dress, to the point that they've both mocked it multiple times on the show. And then lastly, you have the fact that it wasn't even a typical wedding like we're used to seeing, and I think that Christine has always regretted that, because in their religion, weddings are extremely private, quiet, and secretive events, because polygamy is illegal, and it's not exactly a big celebration like we're used to seeing, and they've even mentioned, you know, before that they don't even walk down an aisle or anything like that. It's more of a religious service than anything else, and you could see that Christine had felt like she missed out when, you know, watching her daughters get married on Sister Wives over the years, both because they got to have a big, crazy wedding celebrations that she never got to have, and because their weddings were legal, unlike hers. And when Aspen got married, Christine loved her marriage certificate so much, and she was so jealous of it, and she wished that she had one herself, and now she's finally going to get one, you know, once and for all, and I think I speak for all of us when I say that we're happy for her because it's about time that she finally gets a fairy tale. Even though I'm still a little bit apprehensive for her sake, maybe I'm just being overprotective of her, but I do worry about how little quote-unquote real-life dating experience she has. I mean, she grew up extremely sheltered in their religion. 
She married Cody when she was just 19 years old, and she had been in love with him for years prior, and it was pretty clearly an arranged marriage because she was the granddaughter of the head of their church, and she accepted way less than she deserved from him for years, and we've seen, you know, so much growth from her over the years, so I hope that she's taking what she learned all over the years and applying it to this relationship, but I am kind of worried that she's immediately jumping into marriage with the first guy that she's dated after Cody, and like I said, they've only dated for 64 days before getting engaged, and that being said, maybe her relationship with Cody taught her exactly what she wanted to find in a man, and that's why she's so sure about him being the right guy for her, because now she knows what she does and doesn't accept in a marriage and in a relationship, and even though it does seem extremely rushed, they must know that this is right for them, I guess, and the thing that I'm curious about is when the wedding is going to be, because will they rush it and get married this summer, or will they wait a little bit, and who is going to be at the wedding, because I think it's safe to say that Cody and Robin will not be there, but will marry, because Janelle definitely will likely be there, I would assume, and I'm sure that most of the kids will go. I do wonder if they'll take their time planning it since she's been waiting so so long for her dream wedding that she's never gotten to have, or if they'll just jump right in like McKelty and Tone did a few years ago, you know, but one thing I definitely know for sure is I'm just so glad that Christine's finally getting her happily ever after, and even though, you know, there might be some drama with the rest of the family about it, but if anyone deserves this after so many years of getting tortured by Cody, it's definitely Christine, and guys, I cannot wait to see what happens with their wedding and getting to watch their entire relationship relationship play out on TV. But what do you guys think? I cannot wait to hear all your thoughts about their relationship and marriage in the comments below.